Hi, and welcome on News Now, Belmont Journal Daily News Show and Community Update. I'm your host, Frederic Rigolo. Today, meet with Philippe Thomas, Belmont resident and beekeeper, and learn how rock meadow and the bees are deeply connected. I'm Philip Thomas. I live here in Belmont. I've been here almost 10 years, actually a little bit over 10 years. I've been beekeeping for about four years and I really love Rock Meadow and all its beauty and all of its nature and all that it has to offer. Well beekeeping as I first discovered it was uh, just a passing fancy. I thought I'd try one hive and see how that worked and the more I got into it the more I loved it. I found the bees to be fascinating. They're very intelligent. They are able to navigate all for miles and miles away and still come back to that little hive. And the more I do it, the more I find it's really, really relaxing. At the same time, they produce a great product. We have about four hives here right now in, uh, in Rock Meadow. Three actually, but another one soon to be. And then there's some other hives across the way. So we could get as much as six or eight. Uh, each hive produces around uh, 70 to 120 pounds of honey a year. We have to leave a lot of the honey in for the bees for them to eat during the winter time. So we always take care of making sure that the bees have at least one full box of honey, which is about 70 pounds or so of honey. And then we put a third box. So the bottom box is for the brood, the baby, second box is for the feed for the winter time and the third box is what we harvest from and that usually is another 70 pounds or so of honey so in a place like rock meadow with all the floral elements and nectar and pollen they will fill up probably over 100 pounds of honey easily in each box well if you look around rock meadow it's really beautiful it's natural it's not too close to people but it's not that far from my home uh, the bees have lots of foraging capabilities. Um, the sunlight is just right. Uh, there's water here. So those are all the basic things the bees need to get along. We just needed a quiet place where we could take care of them and, and help treat them and, and watch over them. So the bees are actually very important to overall pollination. They say one bite of food in every three is the result of uh, pollinators like honeybees. And Honeybees actually are though the single largest source of pollination. So the bees are very important and so we have to take care of the bees. We have to try and make sure that they don't get sprayed or that there's pesticides that can harm them. We have to make sure that people are not, you know, treating them badly or burning them up or if there's a swarm, which sometimes happens all around Belmont, they should call a beekeeper to come pick up the swarm and bring it to a place like Rock Meadow where the bees can flourish. In Rock Meadow there's about eight or so uh, beekeepers and we all correspond and back together. We help one another out when, when they need help. Um, there's also a much larger beekeeping community. I, I'm the vice president of the Middlesex County Beekeepers Association which is uh, several hundred beekeepers around Middlesex County and I also have attended some of the Massachusetts Beekeepers Association's meetings. So we're involved locally here in Belmont, but also at the county and state level as well. Mary Trudeau is basically the, the person that we've contacted and worked with closely and the entire Conservation Commission. So we all have the same goal, which is to keep Rock Meadow na natural and clean and a wonderful place for people to enjoy and the bees as well.